Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. Doesn't it feel good to know that we don't have to go searching for a spook tree? To know that our hunt, for me, is finally over. We got it. We got what we came for, and that's that's it. I don't have to look anymore. So, I'm going to go load up on this year's candy canes, or uh, candy and axes and make sure I get uh, a bunch of those going for me. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go do that right now. I was going to clean up the base a little bit, and maybe do some woo-saw, some reflecting and just relax, but that's not what I want to do. I want to go load up, load up on some things because we got, I got nine million just burning a hole in my pocket. If I had pockets, that is. I don't have pockets, so I guess that doesn't really count, does it? There we go. Hello, Tom. Hello, sir. Have you come for the last bit of candy corn axes? I have. I will take everything you have in stock. Well, <laughs> that's going to be quite hard, sir. I restock every day, daily, on the hour, every hour. Really? That's amazing. Who's your supplier? I can't reveal my secret, sir. Defaultio Inc. would never allow me. Oh, I've let it sink in again. <laughs> I'm a little tired. <laughs> and I may have had a little bit of coffee. <laughs> That's okay. Actually, I still have some coffee, so. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. I've always kind of wondered, like, how did he do... How did he do the little billboard things? I think... I think that's an actual thing that's like on his. Oh, okay, just dropped it right out. Um, I'm talking about the uh, the dialogue, like above Tom's head. I think it's just a billboard, um, GUI, and he throws throws some stuff on it. But, uh, if you guys didn't know, these boxes, these axe boxes, they don't actually they're not actually boxes. They're just they're what is it? 1.5 by 1.5 by 3 um, parts inside uh, studio. Oh my goodness. Man. It feels good to just relax. Like I'm, I'm thinking about uh, all the stuff that I need to get done and I just, I don't want to do it tonight. I want to sit here Relax, play lumber, stock up, and then go to bed. Actually, I, I do want to go play some Fortnite. I need to catch up on all my missions, so we can always do that too. If you're watching this right now and you are eating something, put down below what you're eating. Uh, is, it, is it a Pop-Tart? Is it ramen noodle? Um, if you happen to be eating ramen noodle right now and I guessed it and you're like, oh my god, he knows me! It was just a guess. Don't freak out, okay? I know I know. a lot of people are like, oh, you know me so well. It was for me. It, it was a guess. And if you're the same thing with the Pop-Tart, like you, you could be eating a Pop-Tart or an Oreo or, or popcorn, if you're eating popcorn. <laughs> or a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Or you could be... You could be at the dinner table eating dinner. Who knows? You know? And if you happen to be watching this in 2025, what's it like not having COVID and all these crazy things happening in your year? Huh? Seriously. It's been like years in the future that you're watching this. And thank you for coming back. Am I still alive in 2025? If, if I am still alive, leave a comment down below. If you're watching in 2025, you know? That's a, that's a little creepy. You know, but it's also self-aware of my mortal existence. Which I guess is a good thing when you think about it. Um, normally, whenever I start talking about these kind of subjects, I get dark talking about it. <laughs> like, um, I'm not sure that I want to get dark or deep tonight. 
We just want to hang out and have fun. So I will change subject subjects. Let's talk about candy corn, okay? The nastiest candy in the world to me. Maybe I'm just getting the cheap, cheap stuff or something, but I really did. I tried, guys. I found some candy corn that somebody somebody had brought some in to work, and I grabbed me a little baggie of it, opened it up. It had like four or five in there. I mean, it wasn't. It was it was like a little snack size. It was not pleasant at all. First one in my mouth. Chewed it a couple times. Spit it out. Threw away the whole bag. Nope. 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 I'm just, I am not a fan of the candy corn. <sighs> Which is funny, I'm, I'm grabbing a whole bunch of candy corn axes. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm actually going to drive these this onto the base and then just respawn the truck. So, I'll just do that real quick. Oh, by the way, have I, I haven't done the banana thing. The banana thing happened right after I had, uh, I had gone on vacation because Jack showed it to me on that Friday, I think. So, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, there's a banana under the thing. To be fit or something. To to get it, you have to be fit. I don't, I don't know. We'll, we'll go see. We'll go see. That. By the way, I love that he fixed the bridge. If you guys didn't see this stuff back in like 2016, 2017, that bridge was messed up, boy. Messed up. Sorry, sorry. Were you guys... Somebody was trying to sleep right there, weren't you? My bad. <clears throat> if you happen to listen to me in the morning while you're getting ready for work or school, hashtag that down below. Hashtag painting toenails or something. Uh, is the can candy's over here, right? Yeah, here's the candy. Gonna go get out of some candy. Hopefully we can get a pink. That'd be amazing to get a pink right off the bat. Can I can I grab two at a time? Or is it too far of a distance? I don't know. Oh no no no. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him, Corey. Buy this purple bag of candy? Thank you. Come on. Talk again. Yes. They're actually pretty cheap. 612? Now, if you think about the all actuality of, like, economics, I would never pay $612 for a bag of candy. Oh, I need to hurry. Oh, no. Corey's going to close on me. Don't close on me, Corey. Don't close on me. Oops. I just thought of something. I wonder if there's nothing under here. There wouldn't be anything under there. Hold on, can we open these? Nothing under there. Oh, I'm inside the cabinet. <laughs> Nothing up there. Let's see here. Anything? Anything? Nothing? Check under here. Under the beds. Oh no. Whoa, why is there, okay. I'm like, why is there light coming up from the bottom? Okay, I can't see anything anymore. Dang it. All right, Corey, we'll leave. Whoa. 
They glow in the dark. The labels do. Why do the labels glow in the dark? That's spooky, scary skeleton. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm being kind of boring tonight. And we still got five minutes. So, let's turn on our lights. Stop being boring, Code. You're, you're being a drag. You're dragging everyone down. Talk about something happy. Like... Bananas. Oh, that's another... I'm like, is that a spook trick? I've, I've only been in the server for like a couple of minutes, so... Oh, exactly. 10 minutes and 50 seconds. Okay, so the banana thing... Oh, wait, it's over here. Uh, be in shape. Be great. Be in shape to be great. Of course, I think it's just a troll. Of course I do. Can we click it? Great. Great. Yeah, it says B. Does it say N? Be in shape to be great. I have no clue. Limited stock items. Hey, 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 Bob. Yes, I want to buy the ghastly. The ghastly. Ghastly pumpkins. As Jack would say, ghastly. <clears throat> Speaking of which, I haven't talked to anybody since being back from vacation. <laughs> I loved it. Down in... in I'll tell you, I was in New Mexico, and uh, if you if you didn't see some of the live streams, we actually we showed the stars and, and some of the sunrises and sunsets and all the different areas. It was it was beautiful out there. I loved the desert. <sighs> in comparison to Springfield, Missouri, the weather was just dry, and it didn't feel muggy. There was no humidity. It was great. Um, it wasn't quite cold yet, and it wasn't quite hot. It was just the perfect temperature. It was like 74 degrees the whole time. It was good. But I digress. I'm back home. <laughs> Not that it's bad to be back home. I'm glad that I'm back home. But I wouldn't mind making that my home. You know? We might have to move. Just saying. Not out of necessity, like, oh, we gotta move. No. Um, we've, we've been here for quite some time. And down there, it just, it seems right. It feels right. And I don't want to announce it to the world and be like, oh, we're moving. We're, we're not. All right? It's not, it's not like that. We're not moving right now. Um, but it's definitely something, it's, it's a conversation to have. Me and my wife and kids, we all kind of started discussing it and stuff, and I don't know, it's, it's a plan, it's a thought. And like all ideas, all thoughts, they sometimes turn into actions, just like dreams. Dreams can turn into plans, can turn into thoughts, which can come into reality. If you dream about something, you can absolutely do it. Your imagination, your plans, right? Don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do something. Don't let somebody sit there and tell you, dude, you're trying to be a YouTuber, you'll never make it. You'll never be that big. Don't let them drag you down. Somebody says, you want to be, uh, 
you want to be a Force Recon uh, Marine, it, you'll never make it. You'll, don't let them tear you down, ever. Don't let people tell you you can't do something. Now, take that with a big grain of salt because if it happens to be a police officer and they say, get on the ground, dude, I don't care who you are, where you are, what you're at, what you're doing. If a police officer says, get on the ground, get on the ground. Do as the officer says, okay? I don't I don't want you to be like, code primate said I don't have to do what you tell me. You could, mm -mm, I didn't I didn't say that. Okay? Uh, and there's I know there's a big difference in the way that cops treat people. Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat it. Cops are viewed in different ways. A lot of people see cops as like a corrupt society or uh, being able to thinking that they can do whatever they want. I can tell you this from experience and from everything that I've done. Okay. Cause I used to be a correctional officer and I feel for you. I feel for everyone who's ever had the bad experience with a cop. There isn't a single cop in this world who joined the force or went to become an officer who thought I'm just going to kick people's butts. No. Every single one of them, they want to make a difference and help. They want to be the hero. That is the intent. And that's, that's what it's supposed to be. Now, I won't sit here and lie and say that people have ruined it in the past and that things have happened, but I'm also not gonna sit here and take people just being mean because I used to wear a uniform. If you disrespect anyone inside my comments, I will remove you. I will delete your comment and I will make sure you never comment on my channel again. Now, the reason I bring this up is because there was something that was mentioned inside my comments and there's there's a point to where you can be snarky and you can kind of be cruel but when you cross a certain line it's not even funny and it's those moments that i will never give you the time of day so with that being said be nice to everyone else in the comments help each other out. If somebody has a question, answer it for them. I'm not going to be able to answer all 200, 300 comments within the first hour. There's, it's impossible. I'm going to be eating my lunch. All right. So whenever this video comes out, if you happen to see somebody asking a question, feel free to answer it nicely and politely and in a manner that would be fit for the Code Primate channel. All right. I love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does, but it's up to you. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here. You watched. You had fun. We had fun. Man, what a great episode. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.